this question was asked in gate 2003 and in this question they have they are they have given us a graph and they are giving us four sequences and these four sequences are actually the depth first traversal of the above, above graph okay and we have to tell which one of these sequence is a valid sequence right and in this graph this is the vertex a and this is the vertex b this is the vertex f this is the vertex e g and h right and let us see the first sequence the first sequence is says a b e g h and f right so that means we are having this above sequence and in this sequence we have to tell whether this sequence is valid or not now in this sequence as you can see we started from the vertex a right so from this vertex a we are having three adjacent vertices so the vertices are e b and f therefore we can visit visit any one of them right therefore uh, we can say that we started from the dfs from the vertex a and we are going to see what are the vertices which are adjacent to a so the vertices which are adjacent to a are e b and f right therefore we will choose any one of them so here they have chosen b therefore we are going to call dfs of b right so when we call dfs of b in that case what are the vertices which are adjacent to b the vertices which are adjacent, adjacent are e f and h right so we can choose any one of them so they have chosen e therefore we are going to call dfs of e right now when we call dfs of e in that case there are three adjacent vertices vertex a vertex b and vertex g and we have already uh, called this vertex a this is already visited vertex b is already visited therefore we are going to call vertex g therefore they are also going to call vertex g therefore it is dfs of vertex g so when we call dfs of vertex g in that case what are the adjacent vertices vertices of g so adjacent vertices are e h and f right we have already visited f e we have already visited f and now we are going to call d uh, this h right oh, oh, oh we haven't visited f as yet so f is not visited till till now okay so uh, this this vertex h and vertex s both are actually adjacent to vertex g therefore we can call any one of them so here they have called vertex h right therefore we are going to call dfs on vertex h so when we call dfs on vertex h in that case g is already visited so from this vertex h what are the adjacent vertices they are g h and f right therefore g and h are already already visited therefore we are going to call dfs on vertex f right so if you see the sequence the sequence is a b e g h and f this is a valid sequence okay now let us see the option number 2 and the option number 2 the sequence is a b f e n h and g now let us see if this sequence is valid or not okay so in this sequence initially we have called dfs on a so when we called dfs on a in that case what are the vertices which are adjacent to a so vertices are adjacent are e b and f therefore we can call only with uh, from any one of them so here from a they have called dfs on b so dfs on b so when we call dfs on b in that case what are the vertices which are adjacent to b vertices which are e and f by the way we have already visited a we have already visited b now the next vertices are e and f so in the case of vertices e and f we can choose any one of them so they have chosen f so we are going to call dfs of f right so in the case of f uh, the adjacent vertices are h and g right therefore we can call, call only from the uh, vertices h and g but they are calling this vertex e so but vertex e is not uh, adjacent to f therefore you can say that this sequence is not valid why because when we reach to the vertex f in that case we, are, we can only call dfs on the vertices which are adjacent to f and not visited right so in this case uh, dfs we have called uh, we can call only dfs on h and g if we reach f but they are uh, reaching to this e right therefore because of this e it is not valid right now let us see the option number 3 in the uh, in this uh, sequence number 3 it is a b f h and g so let us see if this sequence is valid or not so in this sequence initially we have called dfs 
on A. So when we call DFS on A, in that case there are three vertices which are adjacent to A. They are E, B and F. Therefore we can call between any one of them. So here they have called vertex B. So we are going to call DFS on B. So when we call DFS on B, in that case the vertices which are adjacent to B are E, F and H. Right? Therefore we can call it between any one of them. So we have called F. So we are going to call DFS on F. Right? So when we call DFS on F, in that case, what are the adjacent vertices? But adjacent vertices are A, B, H, and G. But we have already visited A and B. Therefore, we can call between H and G only. So we are going to call DFS on H. Right? So it is DFS on H. For this H, the adjacent vertices are B, F, and G. But we have already visited the F and the vertex B. Therefore, we have left with only one option that we have to visit G. So here we are visiting G. So it is DFS on G. So when we call DFS on G, in that case, the adjacent vertices are E, H and F. So we have already visited H, we have already visited F, therefore we are going to visit the vertex E. So DFS on vertex E. So as you can see the complete sequence, it is A, B, F, H, G and E. And it is a valid sequence. Okay. Now let us check the sequence number 4. Sequence number 4 is saying A, F, G, H and B, E. Right? So what is this sequence number 4? In that case, initially we have called DFS on A. So when we call DFS on A, we have to see what are the adjacent vertices to A. The adjacent vertices are E, B and F. So here we are visiting the vertex F. So we are going to call DFS on F. Right? So when we call DFS of F, in that case what are the vertices adjacent to F? They are A, B, H and G. But we have already visited A. Therefore, we can choose any one of them. That is B, H and G. So, here we are visiting G. So, we are going to call DFS on G. So, when we call DFS on G, in that case, what are the adjacent vertices to G? Adjacent are E, H and F. But F is already visited. Therefore, we can choose between E and H. So, uh, we have chosen H. So, we are going to call DFS on H. Right? And then we call, if we call DFS on H, in that case, uh, what are the adjacent vertices to H? Adjacent vertices are B, F and G. But we have already visited F, we have already visited G, therefore we are going only left with one option, that is, we have to visit B. Right? Therefore we are going to visit B. So we are going to call DFS on B. So when we are at B, so what are the adjacent vertices of B? Adjacent vertices are A, F, E, H. But we have visited A, F and H, therefore we are left with only one option that is DFS on E. So DFS on E. Right, so this is also a valid option. So if you can see in all three these uh, these three options, only one option is invalid, that is the option number two. The, that is the sequence number two actually. So if you go to the option, then you can see the option number D is saying that uh, one, three and four are valid, others are not valid. Okay.